Dan Shea is building a human lung. It may not look like a lung, but it contains the organ cells and functionality, positioned tightly together to fit on a single microchip. Shea and his colleagues at Harvard's Wies Institute are breaking new ground in biomedical engineering, according to their director, Don Ingber. He says that after years of research, the scientists are now able to replicate all types of human body parts. Uh, rather than building a whole organ, could we build sort of the minimal functional unit, a 3D cross-section of, of your lung or your gut or your liver that would have human cells and that would re reconstitute or mimic the way a whole organ works? And then eventually, could you link many of these together and have sort of a human body? Ingber says the technology has the potential to revolutionize the way pharmaceutical companies test new drugs. The idea here is that the pharmaceutical industry has been limited by the fact that animal studies just don't work. Uh, we lose innumerable animal lives at a huge cost. It takes an incredible amount of time. And then more often than not, they don't predict what happens in human clinical trials. So it's back to ground zero. Where animal trials fail, Ingber says organs on chips will succeed because they're made up of human cells and tissue. The lung on a chip is made up of human lung and capillary cells, which are divided by a porous membrane. These cells are sandwiched between a pair of vacuum channels, which mimic how lungs flex when breathing. This is real-time imagery of white blood cells attacking bacteria the researchers introduced into the chip. Because it's crystal clear, we can look at a microscope and, and we could watch what's going on in this human cells and tissues and organ-like structures in real time so we get insight into the mechanism. How does a drug work? How does a toxicity happen? And that's a huge value to pharmaceutical companies. Ingber says his teams are now working on linking different organ microchips together with the hopes of simulating the complex structure of the human body. He says there's still a long way to go, but he hopes one day his organ microchips will replace animal studies altogether, while at the same time providing a new and more effective way to test new drugs. Ben Gruber, Reuters.